Well, beer, I like beer. I drank it every day of the year. I drank it any time, but you're on my mind. I like beer. I keep a case there in the cooler. I got a tall boy in my boot. Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56. And my faithful Indian companion, John Toe. And this is beer review number 127. Today we're reviewing a beer from New Holland Brewing, which is located in New Holland, Michigan. And this will be the first beer by this brewery that we've reviewed. This is the Dragon's Milk Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout. Now I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the New Holland Brewing, what, what little there was on the website. Uh, every beer we make captures a flavor, a harvest, a season, a moment in time. When we started brewing in 1997, we set out to transform the standards of flavor and enrich the lives of those around us. Today, as our beer is sold across the country, our goal remains the same. Life is found in the savored moments and we strive for our beer to be there too. This is the Dragon's Milk Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout. Throughout the ages, Dragon's Milk has been used as a term to describe potent ales and elixirs worthy of celebration, a reward at the end of the journey. We are proud to be stewards of that ancient tradition today, handcrafting each batch of Dragon's Milk Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout in Holland, Michigan. The best liquid in our house is now yours. Roasted malt delivers notes of coffee and chocolate, married with sweet undertones of vanilla and oak from a three-month stay in bourbon barrels. The alcohol by volume is 11%, which they proudly display on the front of the label. The IBUs are 30. So I'm hoping this is going to be a pretty good one. Now, I know John has shown you the label, but because it's kind of an interesting top, I'm going to show you the bottle top. Okay. Now, let's pop this thing. Oh, it's definitely dark as a stout should be. All right, got about a half a finger of a khaki head, and it's dark enough that you can't really see through it so looks like a stout looks like one come on over john all right hmm. let's see what the aroma is i smell sweet chocolate right off the bat mm -hmm. it's there And a little roastiness. That's about all I can smell. Yep. Mm-hmm. A little maltiness. Sweetness. I taste the sweet roasty malt. You get the oak flavor on the end? I'm not sure. I am getting a dark chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. I taste the alcohol right on the end. It's 
go overall good balance everywhere. Mm, I'm not sure if that's the vanilla or the oak that I'm getting, mm -hmm. but it's it's very slight, right? You know, very slight. I don't really taste the alcohol. I do on the end. I got just the tiniest burn uh -huh. right at the end, right? Mm. Certainly, certainly nothing major. I think it's a very well balanced, another very well balanced beer. Yeah, I do too. This is almost mm. comparable to that other company we love so much. Mm. This is a good one. And I'm impressed because it's not as bitter as your usual stout. Mm -hmm. It's much milder and sweeter. Yeah. Than it, I mean, I'm not saying it's sweet. You know, it doesn't take it tastes like a chocolate milkshake. Right. Or anything. It just has that. But it, but it's more, it's it, it's more on the sweeter side, less on the bitter side. Mm -hmm. This is very very well done. I think. I do too. Um, I agree. Yeah, this is, uh, I can give this one two thumbs up. I can also give this one a try. Yeah. It's yeah. multi-flavored. Yeah. It's uh, well-balanced all the way through. Yeah. So. And uh, and if, if this is what comes out of a dragon's teeth, I think I'm going to start raising dragons in the backyard. Yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. good. Okay, well, there's not much more to say other than that. And uh, great. That's beer 127. Uh, stay tuned. There'll be more beer reviews coming soon. Till then, this is Spec Ops 56. And my good friend behind the camera, John, saying cheers. Mm-hmm.